The Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, welcomed the new U.S. Ambassador and assured her about Uganda's continued excellent bilateral relations with the United States of America. She informed the Ambassador that Uganda has put trade and investment at the center of its foreign policy. The Premier therefore welcomed the U.S. government efforts to supporting bilateral trade and investment between the two countries. About Uganda's fight against COVID-19, the Prime Minister thanked the U.S. for providing vaccines and PPE equipment. We have intensified on the mobilization. We have to mobilize our people, the leaders, uh, local level, and of course national. All of us now, our uh, major focus is mobilization so that we can take the vaccines and open the economy. The Prime Minister also informed the Ambassador about the policy shift in managing disasters in Uganda. She said government was considering urbanization, reafforestation and buying alternative land to settle disaster victims. On her part, the American Ambassador Natalie Brown expressed concern about a number of issues which included delay in opening of schools, merging of government institutions and suspension of the democratic governance facility that was funding NGOs. You know, you mentioned the significant U.S. investment in Uganda and so much of that is carried out through civil society organizations. We couldn't do the work we do in combating malaria um, or HIV AIDS. Commenting about the merging of government agencies, the Prime Minister informed the Ambassador that this was done to avoid duplication of services to save resources. The meeting was also attended by the Senior Private Secretary to the Prime Minister, Rose Alenga. Doreen Nasasra, reporting for UBC News.